Hey guys, uh, it's Tuesday and it's the first. And so, haven't got a lot done. Uh, I said, uh, well, let me take that back for a second. Um, I actually have got a lot done. I did all the body work. I left this, this upper panel alone. It's nice and straight, smooth. Well, I've been working on this, trying to get the little details. Well, I got it all detailed out. Thought I was all good, loved it. Thought, man, this is fantastic. It feels smooth and straight. Well, I got to looking at these little cutouts here for the reverse tail lights. And I've not run into this problem before, but this is open so there is, it's, it's flexible a little bit. Not a lot, but it's more flexible than this, say the middle area here that doesn't have this hole. So, I don't know what in the past had happened or I, you know, I don't know, but the light, the, the, the light itself, this area was pushed in a little bit. So as I was going over it, I was getting a lot of low spots around this area. So I got to put, I put this, this little flat deal up here and you can see now it's flat because I've basically done all the body work here. I put more filler back in it. But uh, my dilemma was, if I understand correctly or if I learned anything at all, it's gonna be the same on any edge. You don't want Bondo on the edges because it'll chip out. Okay, I know there's gonna be a light. I don't know how far the light will come out over top of this. So what I did was I taped all this edge. You can see, you can see I've enough feather edged it in, but right through here, I've taped that off and then I skim coated the whole thing again. Then I pulled the tape off and I blocked it back down to where the whole thing is perfectly flat. Because I didn't know that these panels here, and I got to look in, I got online, got to looking because I don't have my car around to, to compare it to, which mine's probably wrong anyway. But these panels here are completely flat until they get about right here and then they start following this contour basically. But to about right here, all the way over, this is pretty much perfectly flat until it starts coming up to here and then it, it has that. But, and I, you know, I wasn't sure about that and this area here was down a little bit and I thought, well maybe that's supposed to be like that. I got to looking at cars online the best I could and they all looked really straight and flat. So I opted to go ahead and just put another skim coat on it and block it all down completely perfectly flat. So that's where it is right now. Uh, I'm real happy with that. I've got to go over it with, with putty coat to fill in these 80 get grit scratches. Uh, then I'll 180 that and then it's ready for my uh, uh, another coat of epoxy. Um, same deal over here also, I didn't say, this being bent in like that, I took the sledgehammer or the slide hammer and basically pulled all this out the best I could, which I should have done that when I was doing the metal work, but I wasn't, I guess wasn't thinking about it at the time. Um, so I had to pull some of that back out, same over here, got this pulled all back out to where it's really, really, really close. But these are, they flex. I mean, you can see just barely moving it. They flex in and out. So it's really, it's really tough to sand around that. It's really tough to do body work around that because they want to flex in when you're, when you're sanding. So kind of my little dilemma on this, if it was just a solid panel there, like the regular, this is an RS Camaro, so it has these backup lights, the, the regular uh, 68 or 67. Uh, standard Camaro doesn't have these little lights so it'd just be a solid smooth panel there but I thought I'd share that with you guys because um, you might run into the same problem eventually if you're doing these Camaros or something um, and like I said whether this is the right thing to do here I'm not 100% sure but I know I don't want Bondo up here on the edges because when he goes to put that light in and he cranks it down if they're, that bondo's brittle, it'll it'll crack it, it'll bust it, and it'll have start getting cracks around this edge. So I left this solid metal here, and it'll just have you know just uh, primer and paint basically on that on those edges there. But and I know that has rubber; those little seals have rubber under them, so that'll help protect it. But again, I don't want to take any chances there. So 
I really probably need to get the guy to bring me one of these. That way I can kind of see how far out these, these lights, tail lights go, because it may cover out far enough or you know to make this blend perfect. I don't know. But anyway, same deal over here. Um, just not, I'm just being extra picky. Um, but you know, like I said, and this is this is a lower panel, but I want it all straight. I want it all perfect. So I have to spend a little extra time. That's what I'll do. Like I said, I have to kind of redo this area here. I'm happy with that up there. Uh, I'll probably putty coat that and be good. Be good to go on it. I won't have to worry about uh, redoing any um, filler work up there because it's nice and straight. But this lower panel had been hit in the bottom. It would be. It was just you remember. If you've been watching my videos it was it was pretty pretty messed up so anyway um, that's kind of where I am with it um, and I'm happy with that I'm gonna leave that alone like I said putty coat I've got a couple of little low spots here that I'll, I'll have to uh, get a little bit of putty coat in but other than that it blocked out real nice um, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here and also another thing I did this is just a tip take you some tape on these edges because when I was wiping that I was getting a big gob of crap up here so let's see if I'm holding it right uh, yeah so take your piece of tape and run right up to this line where it breaks and just all over down, down under here same thing I was having to sand all this crap under here because there's big globs of it where where I pulled down it just left big globs take you some tape and put along these edges and then as soon as you're done wiping Go ahead and rip it off just a little tip 100 probably 98 percent of you guys know this already but uh it, it, it helps i wish i'd have done it when i did it the first time and i got to sit here thinking man i don't want to sit because i had to take sandpaper actually i took a, a razor knife and cleaned all this thick crap that i had over uh over wiped into here and then i had to sit and take sandpaper and sand all the little uh, leftover edges down which you know probably took me another 30 45 minutes which I could have been working on something else hey guys there it is uh, just worked this bottom panel uh, I worked it and worked it and worked it uh, it's down to 180 it's baby's ass smooth uh, everything under here is feathered out uh, same under here all feathered real nice everything's real there won't be any chunks of shit down there when it, you know I think I said that earlier on my car I got a bunch of they just left the bondo hanging chunks and stuff underneath there anyway so yeah very smooth very nice very straight I'm happy with that and I need to move up to here I'll glaze this whole deal block it out in 180 and epoxy prime it and then put me probably four good coats of high build primer on uh, and let it sit and let it sit and let it sit and shrink up and do its thing while I'm working on the other panels I'll probably move on uh, my guess is I'll move on to the trunk and go ahead and split these seams here uh, and get those gaps right and just one at a time and just start moving forward that way uh, you can see all my lines here all look real nice uh, and that's all metal that's all metal so anyway yeah that's it um, fillers broke through you can see the metal here it's real thin but it's just enough to, to make it nice and flat you can see I broke through here but it's super straight super nice and of course when I put the uh, uh, epoxy primer on it it'll be shiny so you'll really be able to see if it's got any waves in it or not the only only problem I think I'm gonna have is right around the, this edge here because I had to feather that down and so like I said hopefully the the light will come out enough I, I've never ran into this issue before so if you guys got any ideas on that I'd be all open to hear it but like I said, I, I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to dump just a, a little bit right through here. But again, if that light comes out enough, then it won't be an issue. So, Alright guys, uh, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you. I have to work tomorrow, so I'll probably, probably make another video Thursday. Um, 
And so, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. See you.